Welcome back to the final and the third part of the series prelims mastery for the December first week. Okay, I hope you have done uh, the first two parts quite well. You have fared well. So let's see how you will perform in the last part. Are you ready? <laughs> let's get out to the first question here, or perhaps twenty-first question. All right. So which of the following statements are correct about Drug Controller General of India? The first says a drug controller general of India regulates pharmaceutical and medical devices in India. DCGI, that is Drug Controller General of India, heads the Central Drugs Standard Control Organization, that is CDSCO. It's an office which is under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. So, what do you think? Which of the three statements are right? Let's check. It says all the statements are right. So this was in news because a Delhi High Court has asked DCGI, that is Drug Controller General of India, to ban uh, selling of uh, pharmaceuticals through uh, e-commerce websites. Okay, so it doesn't want uh, uh, the selling of uh, pharmaceuticals online. Okay, so this was in news. Next one. Which of the following statements are true about inner line permit? Option A says a document that allows access to protected areas for a limited period. B says the inner line permit is operational in Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram and Nagaland. And the third says ILP is issued by the state government concerned and D says all are correct statements. What do you think? It's D. All statements are correct. So we have inner line permit. The very reason we have inner line permit is to make sure that the traditions and cultures which with the tribal regions in these three states of Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram and Nagaland are kept intact. Okay, the next one. Instex is, what is Instex? It's a new currency exchange mechanism for NRIs, uh, an instant e-payment app, a payment mechanism being set by the European Union, none of the above. So what do you think? Yes, it is C. It is C, a payment mechanism being set up by the European Union. Now, European Union has come up with this Instex. It's a payment mechanism. It is basically, uh, it will be used to deal with Iran. Okay, because as USA has got out of the, uh, you know, the terms here, uh, the other nations of the European Union wants to trade, continue trade with Iran through this Instex. Okay, the next one. Operation Clean Art is first pan India operation to crack down on the smuggling of mangoose hair, a new initiative to promote art among school children, a government initiative to create awareness on Swachh Bharat through art forms, and it's a military strategy to clean Jammu and Kashmir radicalization. So, what do you think? What is clean art? The right answer is a first pan India operation to crack down on the smuggling of mangoose hair. Now, this is to ensure that the mongoose hairbrush trade should be closed down across the country. Now, this mongoose is listed in the Schedule 2, Part 2 of the Wildlife Protection Act and any smuggling or possession of its body part is a non billable offence. Okay, so please keep this in mind. Which of the following statements are true about rotavirus? The symptoms of rotavirus infection are fever, nausea and vomiting abdominal cramps and watery diarrhea. Second statement says Rotavac 5D is a rotavirus vaccine. And third says it is designed and developed by Bharat Biotech. So what do you think? What is the right answer? Let's check. It says A, 1, 2 and 3. So all the three statements are right here. Okay, the next one. Which of the following statements are correct? The POSCO Act is a comprehensive law to provide for the protection of children from the offences of sexual assault, sexual harassment and pornography. It also provides for speedy trial of offences through designated special courts and as per the act, reporting of the incidents can be done only by the victim. So what do you think? Which of these statements are correct? Let's check. It says 1 and 2 are correct. Only one and two statements are correct here. However, the third one is a wrong statement. As per the act, reporting of the incident uh, can also be done by the person who has witnessed that very act. Okay. If any person has witnessed a child being abused, then it becomes his responsibility to go and lodge a complaint. So let's go to the next one. 
which of the following statements are correct about mercy petition so what do you think the first statement the grant of pardon by the president is just not an act of grace but therefore can be claimed as a matter of right it says mercy petition is a matter of right person whoever is accused here has a right to go for a mercy petition or the uh, convict here you know what i mean as per the constitution president is bound by the council of ministers advice on mercy petition so what do you think which of the following uh, two statements are correct here let's check it says two only d two only only the second statement is correct whereas the first one is a wrong one it is not a matter of right it is just an act of grace any convict cannot go to a president asking for a mercy petition has his right no it is not his right only if president feels he can pardon him okay now supreme court in kehar singh versus union of india 1988 case reiterated its stand and held that the grant of pardon by the president is an act of grace and therefore cannot be claimed as a matter of right okay and in dhananjoy chatterjee alias dhana versus state of west bengal 1994 case the supreme court has said that the power under articles 72 and 161 of the constitution can be exercised by the central and state governments and not by the president or governor on their own hence president and governor are bound by cabinet's advice so they can't uh, take the decision on their own if cabinet uh, you know advises the president to pardon only then he can okay the next one which of the following statements are true article 161 gives a power to the governor of the state to pardon death sentences second says pardoning powers of the president and governor is outside judicial review so what do you think let's check it says d neither article 161 gives power to the governor to pardon but however not to pardon death sentences only president has the powers to pardon death sentences and not the governor okay the pardoning powers of the president and governor is very much inside the uh, judicial review it is not ultra virus which of the following statements are true about acquisition and cross servicing agreement acsa which is still under negotiation the first one says it is between india and france uh, it involves sharing military bases for logistical support as per the agreement indian navy will get access to a military base in djibouti so what do you think let's pause let's see okay let's see 2 and 3 that is the statements 2 and 3 are right however the first one is wrong because it is it will be signed between india and japan and not india and france okay now this involves sharing military bases for logistical support indian navy will get access to japanese base which is in djibouti and japanese military will get access to indian naval base which is in andaman and nicobar now that is very close to malacca strait okay so this is the agreement here the last question uh, of this uh, part uh, virtual autopsy is a procedure where radiations are used to conduct post mortem of a dead body only radiations are used you know they say autopsy is done without cutting the body so what do you think which is the right statement neither it says uh, neither of them are incorrect <laughs> now the question here was which of the statements are incorrect so neither of them are incorrect that is both are right here so this completes uh, the series here the third part and the uh, this week series for the december first week of prelims mastery i hope you have uh, done well in these uh, 30 questions and i also hope that these 30 questions you know kind of helped you to you know bridge the knowledge gap and kind of help you to revise the current and contemporary affairs of this uh, very week even if you have not Uh, studied or even if you have not uh, read about the issues of this week maybe these 30 questions would have helped you to get some knowledge about that uh, and do not forget again to mention your uh, marks in the comment section uh, let us know so how you feeling are you getting benefited by it or not so it would certainly you know, help us uh, to kind of uh, change our strategy here or change the question style or if you are feeling it very difficult we can make it bit easy for you at least for some time so that you can gain confidence uh so having said that we'll uh, again catch catch up the next week with the second uh, week's uh, prelims mastery uh, mcqs so till then take care do not forget to like this video share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel
ऑल द बेस्ट बाय बाय